frigid weather that's headed our way is causing the state to make some changes to their testing sites to keep Rhode Islanders out of the cold. 12 News has learned at least one state-run site will be moving operations indoors temporarily. Our Anita Buffoni spoke to the Department of Health and joins us now live in studio with those details. Anita? Well, Kim and Brian, it's that cold weather that Tony was just talking about that's moving in tonight and into tomorrow that's causing the walkthrough testing site outside the Rhode Island Convention Center to be moved indoors for the day. Many more testing sites have already moved inside. As snow flurries fall in Providence Monday afternoon, a bundled up group of adults and children braved the cold waiting for their COVID-19 test at a site outside of the convention center, but it's only expected to get colder. It's this site that will temporarily move indoors to the Dunkin Donuts Center Tuesday when frigid weather hits the region. It's unacceptable to me right now this time of the year to have people outside in the line. And so we're going to continue to bring that inside. The Department of Health said additionally, other state-run sites in Central Falls, Cumberland, Pawtucket, and this new site in Woonsocket have all been moved indoors. This Woonsocket location at the Elks Lodge is the latest state-run site to recently open as the state sees a jump in COVID testing. Rhode Island is testing roughly 25,000 people per day, an increase of nearly 40% since the start of 2020, and that's not including at-home testing. There has been a consistent delay in test results in recent weeks, but the health department says with expanded lab capacity, turnaround times are expected to be quicker. We're going to make sure that we have the supply to meet the demand, and then we're going to make sure that we have the personnel to meet that demand as well. Now over in New Bedford, the city announced COVID testing will be canceled tomorrow due to the cold weather. We have a full list on where you can get tested on our website, WPRI.com. I'm Anita Buffoni, 12 News. Well, the freezing temperatures coming our way have caused the Rhode Island Department of Health to make some changes to at least one of their testing locations to keep people indoors. 12 News reporter Anita Buffoni spoke to the Department of Health today about the changes, and she joins us now live in the newsroom with the details you need to know. Anita? Yes, well, Shannon, it's that walkthrough testing site in downtown Providence that has been moved indoors. This comes as several others do the same in hopes of getting Rhode Islanders out of the colder weather. A bundled up group of adults and children patiently waiting outside for their COVID-19 test as snow flurries fall in downtown Providence Monday afternoon. It's this site outside of the convention center that will temporarily move indoors to the Dunkin Donuts Center Tuesday ahead of the freezing temperatures heading into the region. It's unacceptable to me right now this time of the year to have people outside in the line. And so we're going to continue to bring that inside. The Department of Health says more state run sites will move indoors in communities like Central Falls, Cumberland, Pawtucket and Woonsocket. That Woonsocket location at the Elks Lodge is the latest test site to recently open. And we're going to continue to add uh, more and more capacity to meet the demand on the short term, which um, will probably subside once the once the infection rates go down. Rhode Island is testing roughly 25,000 people per day, an increase of nearly 40% since the start of 2020. And that's not including at home testing. The health department says their newly expanded lab capacity will help reduce turnaround times. Now in Massachusetts, the city of New Bedford announced they are canceling COVID testing tomorrow because of that cold weather. Now to find out where you can get tested, we have a full breakdown on our website, WPRI.com. In the newsroom, I'm Anita Buffoni, 12 News.